Today is November 9th, 2012, Friday, and I'm going to put this somewhere in my next update, but I just have to come on and remind myself um, of my feelings on today. You know, I wanted to encourage anybody who wants to vlog about their journeys to do so, because it's these times that you will remember and that you will also forget. But you'll have the videos to go back and remind self. Um, I say remember because current, you know, you know. And then we forget because it's been a year, over a year and a half that I am, have been post out. And today in particular, I am very sore. I feel like my muscles are being torn. Because I worked out on Monday on legs and then Wednesday I worked out um, on... Oh, cardio. I did a, like a double dose of cardio with me being very sore. So my body's still coming down from that. And I was trying to think of a reason to work out today because I just don't feel like it. But guess what? As I always do, there is every reason in the world to work out. No matter how my body might be feeling, every single workout is a deposit into my desire for the body that I want. But I was looking back at my videos and I started to cry because I've come a long way. Nobody can take that from me. And you know, people who come on my channel and they say things like, you know, I can't wait to see you at this weight and that weight, baby. If you only knew how long and how hard I've been fighting. Go back to video one before you comment on my videos. That's all I got to say about that. But it really don't matter at the end of the day because I know how far I've come. And I am proud of me. <laughs> losing 12 dress sizes and I just went to um, the mall today because I had to have my ring resized this is a this is like my temporal ring that I wear whenever my ring is out for cleaning and I might be getting the upgrade <laughs> um, but I had to have my ring resized from a size 9 to a 7.5. A 7.5. I sat there. <laughs> and that saleswoman didn't know why I wanted to break down, you know. And I've lost 12 dress sizes in a year and a half. 12. Not even a year and a half. It's been like a year and four months. Like, uh, whatever. It'll be week 70 when I post this, I think. So whatever that is, that's how long it's been, you guys. And, you know, people always ask me about goals. And this is probably just going to be my update. I'm just going to probably have an intro to it. People always ask me about goals. And do you have a set time that you want to be a certain place? And to be honest with you guys, the only thing I set for myself are mini goals that are in that moment. Like, for example, if I'm on the elliptical and I want to do two miles, you know, um, or as my cool down. Because I always do more than four uh, more than four for my regular workout but like if I want to just do an extra two miles on top of the four you know I'll set that in that moment but as far as like a number and things like that I don't do that I don't say I want to be here at such and such a time and all that you know but I always said since day one that I'm going to get all the way where I'm going and I'm going so for those people who are waiting for me to get to a certain spot stay on with me baby and go with me to the next level because I'm just going to keep going. Um, and then you know what? This is our journeys first. And um, I don't know if I really, uh, yeah, got into because you guys know I go around in circles. Like I was saying earlier, do videos for yourself. And it's so easy to break out of the pace of who you are. You start to worry about the time like I did in my last video. And I always have to remind myself, I can't do that because these videos are for me. If a person wants to walk away from your video, that's totally up to them. Um, 
but I can't do that because somebody out there is watching and they're listening and they're looking for something for self. Everybody's going to walk away with something different. But at the end of the day, this has to be about me first. So if my video is 20 minutes, 5 minutes, 2 minutes, it shouldn't matter to myself. And those who care about me will watch. And those who care about me that care, that care about me and have to leave them, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I won't know. I mean, I am. <laughs> um, but that's what's been going on today. That's my week has been. I've been blessed. I'm realizing my blessings. I'm still standing in need of some things. Um, I've been having some a lot of pain this week. Uh, I'm just gonna be a little TMI for somebody, but with gas because I've been doing a lot of nuts, a lot of walnuts, not walnuts, uh, almonds with cranberries as a snack to keep because it's good to keep protein on hand so you won't indulge in other things. Um, also, as far as finger foods, um, remember what I told you guys, don't eat with your fingers. Um, I kind of still get eaten with my fingers, but, <laughs> but my choices are better. And I know me, one thing about me is I eat something till I'm bored with it. And then, and then I also, I check myself. So I don't need to really tell anybody anything because I'm like, I know me, I'll go through a little phase with something and then I'm over it. And here's another thing too about cravings, you guys. If you can let yourself have something in moderation, really moderation, and we know what moderation is, then let yourself have it. But if you know you can't, then find the healthier alternatives, which you guys I know I'm good at because, you know, I'm making all these things. And um, hopefully by the time that this video is up, you guys will have some other recipes up. The holidays are coming, so I do have some other stuff for you guys that I'll share. Mm -hmm. um, I'm about to hit this third workout of the week. Um, each of my workouts have been almost two hours each time this week, um, so this is why I'm tired. And I've had a lot going on with school, midterms and things like that. So um, anyway, I'm about to hit this, and I might just come back and let y'all see the sweat. Y'all will see the sweat with me video, but I might let y'all see the sweat to prove that I done done it. So I'm going to keep my word, because this going to get posted. Mm -hmm. All right, she loves y'all a lot, and I will talk to you all later. Then I come back and I did it y'all um, 45 minutes of turbo jam and I ain't done yet I decided um even though I'm, I'm sore I worked through it my stomach is a little mad at me check right that now. sweat though all right y'all I'm gonna go hit some miles with Leslie you guys will see everything that I did of course in my sweat with me bed hey you guys so this is after the workout um, and I've already taken a shower and stuff and I just had to come back um, I'm excuse my face I was in a little bit of, I was in some I was in tears and a little bit of tears I even a little bit of tears in this tea I can't even talk right because I'm still kind of feeling a type of way um, I had somebody leave me a message that just really pulled in my heartstrings and basically the young woman said that because of my journey it's lifted her depression and it's given her the strength um, to start her journey and also I know because she's going through a separation and she was like just looking at you was giving me the strength and you know you know I'm, I, I get so much from you guys that I just don't share but I'm sharing it now because we don't know who we're touching with our journeys by just being who we are. Because guys, I'm not doing anything special, I don't think. I'm just being me. I'm just giving all that I have. So, um, yeah, I just had to add that in there. And, you know, the support is, is, is uncanny um, that I get from you guys. And I just want to say thank you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put anything else in this video, but I just had to come back and put that in the end here. Um, I love each and every one of you, and I hope that I give you um, all the things that you guys ask of me. I try. I'm one person, but I, I do give my best. As I said in, in the beginning, that if you just wanted to inbox me about the simplest thing, that I would be here, and I still mean that. So, yeah. With that said, I love you guys, and um, I'll talk to you all later.